sound test mic hey what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic let's continue our discussion about dynamo so for this one we're going to talk about how to place nodes and connect okay so place and connecting nodes all right so let's get started so we're not, we are now ready to start placing nodes to our workspace and connect them together so each node has one job, so it takes one or more inputs, performs a very specific function or process with those inputs, and then it uh, spits out an output on the other end. Okay, so I'll start off in the operators library. All right, so let me create a new one. Operators library can be found in the math. All right, just a very simple uh, exercise. So I'm going to open the operators here. So you'll be able to see here multiple uh, action nodes. So let's say I'm going to use here addition. Okay, so I'm going to click that and then you will notice it will be added here on our workspace. So if you want to move your node, you can click, left click the header, hold your left click and then drag. So you can uh, move your uh, node if you want to rearrange. You can also scroll your middle mouse, okay, zoom in, zoom out. It's just like AutoCAD if you're using AutoCAD or Revit, okay. You can also pan it, so by holding the middle button, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take note, by the way, our addition here, it requires two inputs, X and Y, all right. So what we are going to do is um, we are going to add another node here for us to be able to input here. All right. So obviously, since this is addition, so we need a number. All right. So to get the number node, so what you can do is you can go to input and then you can go to basic and then you'll be able to see there the number. Okay, you have two options here to put a number. You can either put a number using this one or using number slider. All right. So another easy way instead of um, browsing your library here. So let's say you are not yet familiar to the node that you want to use. You just have to search it here. So let's say I'm looking for a number. Then I'll just type number. So all the nodes that is related to number will be uh, placed here. So I'll be using number here. So I'm going to click that. There you go. I'm going to arrange. All right. So let's try to use the other number here, which is number slider node. So let's try to use this. Let's click. There you go. Okay. So let's say this is the node that I'm going to connect to my X here. And then this is the node that I'm going to connect to my Y here. All right, so how to connect? So to connect, as you can see, there is a gray arrow here that is pointing to the right. Okay, if you click that, it will produce a wire. All right, you see there's a wire. So you just need to connect that. Just click here. It's now connected. And then for this one, uh, I'll just click this and then I'm going to connect here. And take note that the execution is set to automatic so the moment I place it here automatically when you hover your pointer you will now be able to see there the result okay of the addition okay so you want to see the result just hover your pointer and then you can now see this one you can pin that if you want you can click that to pin all right so Every time you change the value here, what will happen is this will update. It's very nice. So you just click that. So let's say 10, enter. So you will notice it will update. So let's say, for example, I want here 10.85, enter. As you can see, there's the value. All right. So what's what about the number slider? Number slider, you can slide like this. Okay. So if you want to change, let's say you want 1,000. As you can see, the maximum here at the moment is 100. So if you want to change that, you can click the drop down arrow here. And then you can specify here the max number. So let's say 1000 and then enter. All right, so the minimum zero. Now for this step, so let's say you want to step it by 10. Enter. 
all right so as you can see as you move this it's by 10 and the maximum is 1000 all right okay so actually you can also type here like for example uh, 50 enter all right you can click now again this to uh, uh, hide all right so Another way for you to be able to see the result, so instead of holding your pointer here and looking here, so let's say I'm going to unpin this to hide the preview. Okay, so usually the node that I use for that is watch node. Alright, so let's search for watch node. Watch. Watch. Okay, so as you can see, there's the watch here, so you just need to click that. Okay, and then you drag it from here. Okay, and then we need here an input to evaluate or node to evaluate. So I'm going to click this one and then I'm going to click that to my watch node. So watch. All right, so you see the preview now of the uh, addition here. So again, if I modify this one, so there you go. Okay, so if I change the execution here to manual, so as you can see, you will now have a run option here so <clears throat> let's say if i change this to three enter so it will not update all right so you need to click the run here for you to be able to see the result the updated one there you go okay so let's say i change this to uh 40 i'm going to click run all right so there's the result okay so now <clears throat> so by the way you can also connect your note here let, let's say for example the number multiple to input okay let's say I'm going to disconnect this if you want to disconnect just click and then just click outside all right so if you want to connect this you can do that there you go okay and then you can select here run again as you can see it will update again okay so very simple okay now Let's drop another node that will construct some geometry. So what I'm going to do is, since I want the geometry, again, if you're not yet familiar with the geometry, you can search from here. If you already memorize where is it located at, you can go to your library. So I'm going to select geometry, and then I'm going to look for solids, then I'm going to look for cylinder, and then I have here by points radius. A uh, cylinder okay so I'm gonna click this one there you go so as you can see this cylinder here this cylinder here there is a default value already okay so it has a default value of zero 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 one and one but it doesn't show here why because the settings here is set to manual so if I'm going to run this you will now see there the cylinder okay let me just make it automatic since we are just only creating uh, simple notes all right okay so as you can see on your um, cylinder so you have three inputs here so you have the start point oh okay so you have the start point you have the end point and then you have the radius here so for the radius, you can use a number node here for the radius. But for the start point and end point, you need to use here a coordinates. Okay, so you need to specify the X, Y, and Z. Or Z. Okay, so let's say for example, at the moment, the radius is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'll try to use this. Okay, I'm going to connect my number slider here to the radius. Oh, there you go. So there's now my 3D model. Now, if I want to see this uh, 3D model, okay, because at the moment I can only uh, navigate or move my my nodes here because currently I'm set to graph view. So if I'm going to click this one, the 3D preview, I'm going to click this. So I will now be able to... Uh, navigate my 3d model okay all right so i'm going to click this again to go back to my graph view just click and let's say i'm going to change this how about 10 all right so 10 
okay and then this is what I want you to notice so if I'm going to input a number to here which is actually wrong because we are looking here for a coordinate but let's say for the sake of explaining I'm going to click this and then I'm going to connect it here so what will happen is if you connect a wrong input to your node because here you are looking for coordinate but you connect a number so it's wrong so it, your node will become yellow okay so if you hover your pointer here okay you see this one it will tell you there's a warning okay so you need to input here a coordinate but you input a number which is wrong all right so i'm going to disconnect this all right and then you can see that it will now become corrected again okay so let's try to in, uh, insert here a coordinates okay so let's start uh, put here a coordinate so I'm going to click here and then search for coordinates uh, let's look for this one by coordinates so we need a point here by coordinates X Y Z you also have here by coordinates X Y only so this is what I want so I'm gonna click this one there you go so we have a three input here X Y and Z all right so let's say the start point here is set to zero 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 okay so that's why it's at the center so the end point here is zero X zero Y and then the Z value is one so that's the thickness one so I'm just going to change here so let's say I'm gonna click the number three here okay so that will be my X and then I'm going to copy this to copy a node you just control C and then control V there you go so again you can click that control C and then control V there you go if you want to remove a node just right click that and then just click remove now for this one uh, I do not want to change the position of my cylinder I just want it to be at the zero X and Y zero also so I'm going to click this change that to zero enter then I'm going to click here so that will be for my X that will be for my Y now I'm going to click this point to my end point so I'm now going to place it here so as you can see it will now update okay so if I'm going to change for example my tree value here to 10 enter so you will notice it becomes updated okay all right, so the endpoint now here is uh, 0, 0, 10. Okay, so the Z value is 10. That's why the thickness is 10. All right. So for the radius, you can change this. Like, for example, I change this one. The maximum will be only 10. The step here is on like 0.1. Enter. And then I can uh, change. You see? All right, five enter. Okay, so basically, this is how you place nodes and how you connect wires and how you disconnect. All right, like for example, this one I disconnect this, just click and then click outside. All right, so basically, that's how you do it. All right, so it's a very simple exercise, but then again, this is a basic. Okay, so you need to know how to insert how to connect a node and what will happen if you connect a wrong input to a node okay it will become yellow all right so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions just put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can once again thank you for watching see you on my next video have a nice day